Rahim can beat Satyam by 20 meters in a 200 meter race. Satyam can beat Vipul by 10 meters in a 250 meter race. By how many meters can Rahim beat Vipul in a 100 meter race? Right. So, look at the first statement now. It is talking about Rahim and Satyam here. So, Rahim can beat Satyam by 20 meters in a 200 meter race. Which means, if you if you take the proportion, the ratio of their distance is covered. Right. By the time Rahim covers 200 meters, Satyam will cover only 180 meters. Yes or no? By the time Rahim covers 200 meters, Satyam will cover only 180 meters. We are taking the time taken to, I mean, when time is equal, what happens? You are getting it? Let us say in x minutes, Rahim covers 200 meters. Satyam will cover 200 minus 20 meters because Rahim has beaten Satyam by 20 meters here. So, you know, when Satyam is at 180 meters, Rahim is at 200 meters. That is the point. So, this, this comes out to be what? 10 by 9, right? The ratio is 10 by 9. Similarly, we look at the second point here. Satyam can beat. Satyam can beat Vipul by 10 meters in a 250 meter race. So, Satyam by Vipul. So, by the time Satyam covers 250 meters, Vipul will cover only 240 meters. Why is it so? Because Satyam can beat Vipul by 10 meters. So, in the time Satyam travels 250 meters, Vipul will travel only 240 meters. So, this is like 25 by 4, 25 by 4, right? Now, we have to find out by how many meters can Rahim beat Vipul in a 100 meter race. For a moment, let us forget about this 100 meter race point. Let us forget about this. Let us just get the ratio between Rahim and Vipul. Ratio between Rahim and Vipul. How can you get that? See, like if, if, if I tell you that Rahim, I mean R by S is 10 by 9, what does it mean? By the time Rahim travels 10 meters, Satyam will travel only 9 meters. S by V equals to 25 by 24 means what? By the time Satyam travels 25 meters, Vipul will travel only 24 meters. Similarly, let us find out that what will be the ratio between Rahim and Vipul. Right. So, what do we do? Just multiply the two even ratios. R by S into S by V. What happens? S and S gets cancelled. We get R by V. So, we can say R by V is 10 by 9 into 25 by 24. Right. 25 by 24. So, this is like 5 times and 12 times. Right. So, 5 into 25. 125 divided by uh, 108. Now, uh, look at this. R by V is equal to 125 by 108. So, what do you understand? By the time Rahim travels 125 meters, Vipul will travel only 108 meters. By the time Rahim covers 125 meters, Vipul will cover only 108 meters. Vipul will cover only 108 meters. But the question now, so, so we have got one ratio between Rahim and Vipul. Right? In the time Rahim travels 125 meters, Vipul will travel only 108 meters. So, if you multiply both numerator and denominator by 2, what do you get? We can say this is like 250 by 216. So, by the time Rahim travels 250 meters, Vipul will travel only 216 meters. If you multiply by 4, what happens? If you multiply or multiply this by 2, what happens? 500 by 432, let's say. So, by the time Rahim travels 500 meters, Rahim travels 500 meters, Vipul will travel only 432 meters. You are getting it. So, this way we can, you know, change the ratio, change the ratio meaning multiply both numerator and denominator by a constant value to find out what happens in a given race. But here the race is for 100 meters only. Here, the race is 100 meters only. What we have got now is 500 meters or 250 meters or 125 meters. So, basically, we have to ensure that this 125 becomes 100. Because if this 125 becomes 100, we will get to know that the time in which Rahim travels 100 meters, Vipul will travel how much? How many meters? So, you have to make just make sure that in this 125 by 108, you need not do this into 2 into 2 all that. You can avoid that. Directly, try to convert 125 to 100. So, what should you multiply 125 by? 0.8. 125 into 0.8 is 100. Again, here your calculation ability comes into picture, right? What is given to us is 125 by 108. The question is, numerator should be 100. So, numerator will be 100 only when it is multiplied by 0.8 or 4 by 5. 125 into 4 by 5 is 100. So, if this is 0 0.8, denominator also should get multiplied by 0 0.8. Simplify what happens. 125 into 0 0.8 is 100. 108 into 0 0.8 or 108 into 8, first of all. How much is 108 into 8? 800 plus 64, 864. 864. But then it is 0 0.8, so 86.4. So now if you understand what we have got here is Rahim by Vipul, the ratio is 100 by 86.4, which means by the time Rahim covers 100 meters, Vipul will cover only 86.4 meters. So by how many meters is Vipul getting beaten by Rahim? 100 minus 86.4. Like we have done here, right? By how many meters does Rahim beat Satyam? 20 meters. By how many meters does Satyam beat Vipul? 10 meters. So here by how many meters will Rahim beat uh, Vipul by? 100 minus 86.4, which comes out to be 13.6 meters, 13.6 meters option 2.